Well, I do all the menus, all the recovery, all the um, recovery snacks after practice, after workout. Um, the point of that is basically all the energy that they're using during their morning workout needs to be replaced so that they can perform properly in their afternoon workout. She's key to me. You know, I, I try and go in there and talk with her a lot and she looks at my plates before I eat them. And you know, she just really turned the program around as far as the f type of food that we were eating, the level of food we were eating. She's definitely helped. I got with her, you know, personally over the summer and uh, tried to work on, you know, my eating habits and stuff. And uh, I could tell during summer workouts, just, you know, the days, you know, where you kind of, you know, feel like you're gonna have a bad workout is or usually the days you didn't eat right, so I mean. Going there, we have three sections, go, slow, and whoa. I had to stay in the go and slow area, you know, try to, keep my weight down and everything. But you know, every now and then you sneak a woe in there, maybe two, but you gotta hide from terror. A go is labeled on a, on a green tab. It's a green tab that says go. It's like the vegetables, the fruit, anything light, you know what I'm saying? Preferably for, for people who, who are trying to lose weight or maintain. The yellow stuff is any sort of white carbs, so to speak. So like rice, pasta, um, white bread, rolls, mashed potatoes. And then the red foods are gonna be anything really high in fat, so like bacon, sausage, anything fried. Desserts are mostly red. I'm able to go from the top to bottom, you know, the spectrum to where I can go go and slow and wolves. So, you know, cause I, I'm trying to gain weight. But for our bigger guys, they trying to stay more in the slow and go region and the fact that, you know, they're more healthier foods and won't, won't you know, force you to gain bad weight. I might get in trouble for this, but the ice cream part. <laughs> I take two sometimes, I won't lie, but she, has, she hasn't caught me yet. So. <laughs> sometimes they do call me the team mom or um, whatever because I, I do really care about what they're eating and, and it, for me it goes beyond just, you know, you have to eat vegetables, but they're good for you and there's more to it than just that. So um, try not to be the food police or the mom or, you know, I don't want them thinking that I'm out there. You can't leave the table till you eat your vegetables, but they need to know why it's important. So educating them through the process. She helps us with, you know, what we're supposed to eat and, 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 and uh, you know, if you want to gain weight, if you want to lose weight, if, if, you know, certain things to do for, for body recovery and just like the, the cherry stuff that we're, that we're taking is supposed to help you recover faster. So, you know, she's, she's been great to us because, like, in this camp, my body's feeling way better than it has felt in, in previous camps. So, you know, it, it's, it's a blessing to have her on, on our camp. Yes, yeah, so we have implemented a um, cherry juice for recovery drink this year. Um, it's got some protein in there. It just helps them get something in their bodies really good right away after practice. Um, the cherry juice is really good for antioxidants, um, inflammation, just gets some good carbohydrates in their body to start re the recovery process right after practice. You, you drink it that night, and then, <clears throat> and then when you wake up in the morning, you will feel, you know what I'm saying, revitalized, you know what I'm saying, you will feel good and ready to go for the next practice. I do not like that stuff. That stuff is nasty, but I just like shot it down. Just yeah, that that's probably my least favorite. That's uh, something you got to down real quick, or else it's gonna leave a bad, bad aftertaste. No, I hate it. It's nasty. It tastes like blood. How would you know what blood tastes like? I don't know what blood tastes like, but if I did, I feel like that's what it would taste like. You know, I like the taste. <laughs> Uh, but they know it's good for them. They can kind of, they're starting to, now that we've done it a few times, they're starting to see the benefit of it. So it's a small drink and they just take it in.